Nate Silver wrote an article basically sounding the bell saying that Biden can't win at this point. Uh, a few of the things that he brought up were he's not doing things that a traditional campaign would do because of his advanced age. So for example, the Super Bowl interview, that's like a layup. The fact that he didn't do that is pretty crazy. Uh, he's he's saying he's not going to debate Trump, um, which any normal, I think every presidential candidate probably is engaged in some form of debate. He might be the first to not do that. So there's things like that that are happening to where he's pushing in the wrong direction, of course. And Trump, he's seeing some spots where Trump is really gaining in certain directions. So Josh, what you wanted to talk about this article, like what really stuck out to you as someone that follows elections very closely? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, um, what what Nate Silver is saying is at this point, Biden is a a below replacement level candidate, which is kind of funny because like, I remember in 2015 when Biden was thinking about running for president in 2016, and I was worried because I thought he was going to, if he ran in 2016, he would win because he was sharp. Like this idea, some people are saying, oh, the reason why he, he, you know, talks the way he does is because he's a stutterer. It's like, give me a break. Go watch the videos of 2015, 1989, you know, all, in 1988 when he first ran for president, the guy was I still full baloney. I think Biden has always been horrible, but he was sharp and he would talk very fluently. This, so this idea that oh, it's because he stutters, it's a it's a baloney argument. Silver made the point that if he were 10 years younger, he might still be a 65, 35 favorite to win, like almost you know two to one, but. He said, but if his campaign is substantially encumbered by his age, he's probably the underdog. Um, and, and, the, and the fact is, it was a little bit easier to pull this off in 2020 because Biden was able to, because of COVID, run a basement campaign, basically stay in his basement all the time. And you had the lackey media on the side, so it didn't really matter. But you're right. The Super Bowl, I mean, you're talking like 100 million Americans watching it and you don't want to do it. Now, did you see the White House just put out a statement? I don't know if it's... Uh, just Wednesday or Tuesday, where Joe Biden talked about how we need to stay in NATO and how Trump being against NATO was bad. And he, of course, was, you know, hop jumping all over Trump's comments on NATO, right? But if you watch it, it was a two minute statement that video statement that was released by the White House. And I noted there was at least 29 cuts that kept moving. That is unbelievable. It was insane. The guy can't. He can't put together seven seconds. They got to hatch together 38 pieces of a video to get him to talk for two minutes. How many times, how many hours do they spend recording this two minute thing? I mean, it's insane. And so people are going to ask themselves, do you want to reelect this guy? He would be 86 years old at the end of his second term. If he lives that long, right? <laughs> no, genuinely. I mean, because I was even, so he just fell on Air Force One again yesterday and I was just thinking to myself, this is the age where like my great grandparents started falling and like that's potential, like could put you in a wheelchair, could potentially kill you territory. Like if you slip in the bathroom, break a hip or something, it, it's kind of crazy saying about this is like the president of the United States, but that's genuinely, if you just took away the president label, this is where you'd start getting concerned about that kind of thing. Well, not only the president, but the only candidate for the Democrat party right now. Right. Like in- no sympathy. The Democrats did this to themselves. They did not have to run him again. They could have had him step down after restoring decency to the White House or whatever, but they chose to keep running him. And it's like, don't they realize that there's a funeral home just down the street called the United States Senate? <laughs> <laughs> the age is the biggest thing that I think there were people that even voted for Trump in 2016 that maybe didn't vote for him in 2020 that are now looking at the two options to be like, all right, like, whoever's not the dementia patient, which is crazy because Trump's getting up there in age two, but he's definitely not at Biden levels of, you know, dementia. And Nate Silver's point is that we had a good year and a half where we had very high inflation and the economy was, you know, teetering and going kind of a little sideways there. And the economy now has started to improve since the late summer. And so you would think then that Biden's poll numbers would start rising again, but they haven't because his advanced age has caused voters uh, to be concerned. And so that's why, of course, it's an issue. And it's an issue that the, the press can't even ignore. And so now you're starting to see the press is kind of going a, with a, a little bit of an insurance policy here. They started running glowing articles about Vice President Kamala Harris to try to convince Americans that she's not so horrible because they're like, 
We, this might be our only option. We'll and see. Certain Democrats are still holding on to Biden. Amy Klobuchar, Klobuchar our dear friend, um, you know, infinitely memeable. She showed up on several Sunday talk shows this past weekend talking about, how, well, I met with Biden. Joe and I had a great conversation about deep foreign policy. And this is a man who's still sharp. She's basically saying, like, don't believe your lying eyes. <laughs> believe me, he's really fine. So there, there continues to be this contingent that is insisting he's fine. I would have loved to have heard that conversation, Erica, wouldn't you? I mean, like, oh, I know. Could I come and listen? Yeah, what, what did he say? Like, I just got off the phone with, you know, Helmut Kohl. Like, oh, you mean the guy's been dead since 1988? All right, cool. Tell me about that. 